Good morning, students. In the today's class, we are going to learn about the to calculate the valency from the formula. How to calculate the valency from the formula? How to calculate valency from the Okay, so this is the 
where is the hydrogen? So first, first thing what we do is first we will write the formula. Hydrogen dioxide. From hydrogen dioxide, we have to find the where is the hydrogen? Where is the hydrogen? How to find where is the hydrogen? First, write the formula. And we know that here nothing it means. No number is not there means its value is one. So here is one, more two. That these are called subscripts. Below the element we write down that is a subscript. Okay. So these subscripts are changed into the superscript. Changed into the superscript by cross multiplying. By cross multiplying. Okay. So I cross multiplying here. So yes, these two oxygen subscript one is the subscript of hydrogen. Now we have to do the cross multiplication. So subscript is changed into the superscript. Okay. To get that, the cross multiplication is changed into the superscript. Then we know the oxygen valence. We know the oxygen valence. So its oxygen valence is two. That's why cross multiplication is oxygen valence two. Okay. Now two should multiply to superscript of both the elements. Superscript of the both the elements. So two into two. That is four, and oxygen one into two. Two. So from this, we can tell that nitrogen valence in NO2 is four. Nitrogen valence in NO2 is four. Okay. So this is the first one. So one more. I will, I will do that. Another problem. Methane. Second one, methane. Okay, so its formula is CH four. So methane formula CH four. So from this, how to calculate the valence of the carbon? Calculate the find the valence. Find the carbon. From methane, find the valence of carbon from methane. From methane, so this is CH four is the formula, chemical formula methane. So CH four, write the formula CH four. Okay, so these numbers are called substrate. If nothing is there, any number is not there means its value one. We already told that in the last class, nothing is there means. So it's okay. One. Okay. Then what is the next step? So now what I do in the last problem? So subscript. So subscript is changed into the superscript by cross multiplying the valencies. By cross multiplying the valencies. Now look at that. One is there. So this is the subscripts. Subscript values. Now what I have to do there? I have to do the Cross multiplication, cross multiplication. So subscript is changed into the super superscript by cross multiplying. Now four, one. This is this is C. This is hydrogen, hydrogen. Okay. In the next step, what is that? So C four, H one. C four, H one. We know that hydrogen valence. We know that hydrogen valence is always one. Is it? It is the first group element. We know that first group element. Its valence is always one only. Its valence is always one only. So hydrogen valence. I tell you, hydrogen valence one. Hydrogen valence one. So from one we have to multiply to the superscripts. Superscripts. Four into one. One into one, C four, it's one. From these, from these we can tell that one. So carbon valence is four. Hydrogen valence one. We already know carbon valence four. Hydrogen valence one. Okay. So this is the second problem. Then I will move to one more problem. Then magnesium nitride. Magnesium nitride.
मैग्नीशियम मैक्राइड कैल्शियम फ्लोराइड
chemical equation so next topic is chemical equation what do you mean by chemical equation chemical equation is the symbolic representation of chemical reaction using symbols and formula symbols and formula of the substance which is involved in the reaction chemical equation what do you mean by chemical equation chemical equation is a symbolic representation symbolic representation of chemical reaction using symbols and formula of a substance which is involved in the reaction chemical equation is a symbolic representation of chemical reaction using chemical reaction using symbols and formulas symbols and formulas chemical symbolic representation of chemical reaction using symbols and formula of a Involved in the chemical reaction. Chemical reaction. So chemical equation is symbolic representation of the chemical reaction using symbols and formula of the substance involved in the reaction. So this is the definition of the chemical equation. So we know that some of the equation we already learned that how to write the reaction in the while uh, explaining the radicals in the while explaining the radicals i told that one so when acid reacts with base it will give salt and water is it salt and water that's one type of reaction when acid reacts with the base it gives salt and water that is a chemical reaction that reaction is called chemical reaction similarly when when coal burns with the oxygen when coal burns with the oxygen what it will give there carbon dioxide carbon dioxide when coal burns with the oxygen it will give carbon dioxide how to represent using chemical reaction this one for example carbon burns with the oxygen it gives carbon dioxide so this is the chemical equation chemical equation so kya this is the word equation carbon dioxide carbon dioxide this is the word equation word equation word equation so this is the word equation so chemical how to write a chemical equation so chemical equation means what symbolic representation of formulas and symbols symbolic representation of symbols and formula chemical formula in the reaction so this is a word equation carbon so using symbol you have to represent it. carbon c oxygen o2 and gives us carbon dioxide CO2. So this is symbolic representation. Chemical equation. So this is the chemical equation. This is word equation. This is the chemical equation. Okay. Now I write here carbon plus O2 gives such carbon dioxide. So it means so chemical equation represents what? Chemical equation represents what? So what are the things you have to learn that from the chemical equation? Here in the so chemical equation also tells that chemical equation also tells that equation in which how many reactants are there and after reacting what are the products what are the products it will form so this is the chemical equation chemical equation tells that substances are involved in a given reaction given reaction means what are the reactants are there. reactants means what is the reactants so these two are called reactants reactant carbon reacts with the oxygen carbon reacts with the oxygen that is called it is called reactants 
left hand side. This is the left hand side. This is the right hand side. Left hand side, right hand side. Okay. So in the left hand side, we will write the reactants. We will write the reactants. What are the the left hand side is are there? What are the elements name are there? So that is called reactants. Reactants. In the left hand side, what we are writing that is called reactants and so these two react to give carbon dioxide. To give carbon dioxide. That is called product. 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 So CO2 is a now product. When carbon reacts with oxygen, it gives the carbon dioxide. So in the left hand side, what we are writing that is the reactant. In the right hand side, what we are writing that is the product. Okay. So this is about it. And in the middle, after reaction is writing, you should write the arrow. Arrow reacts to give. So what are the products we are getting? So that should be represented by arrow. Okay. In the middle, between the reactions and product, you should write arrow. Okay. If only one reaction is there, no need to write to the side. If two reactions are there, if two reactions are there, that should be represented by the Plus sign, positive sign, plus sign, positive sign. If more than two is there, then it is also possible with the positive sign. Okay. Only one reactant, no need to represent using plus sign, positive sign. Okay. So in the left hand side, what you are writing, there is a reactant. In the right hand side, what you are writing, there is a product. Okay. And in the middle between the reactant and product, you should write the arrow sign. Arrow sign. So reacts to give what? So this is give product. That should be represented by arrow. Okay. So chemical reactions involves four concepts. Four. Chemical reactions involves the following. Chemical reactions involves First one, first one, one reactant and two or more products. One reactant and two or more product. The so first one, one reactant, two or more product. For example. Calcium carbonate, calcium carbonate gives rise to calcium carbonate gives rise to calcium oxide, calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide. So one reactant, two products. Now look at that. One reactant, two or more products. So now look at the calcium carbonate. Only one reactant is there. Two products are there. Calcium oxide and Carbon dioxide. So one reactant, two products. And second thing, two reactants and one product. Two reactants, one product. Two reactants, one product. Two reactants, one product. So in the first one, I get some carbon plus. Oxygen used by so carbon dioxide. So you are going to have two reactants. Carbon one reactant, oxygen another reactant. It used by so carbon dioxide. Okay. So only one product. Carbon dioxide is only one product. And third one, two reactants and two products. Two reactants and two products. Two reactions and two two reactants, two products. In S three, two reactants, two products. Now look at the two reactants. One is ammonia, another is the HCl, another is the acid. Use by two. Two reactants and two products. Two 
two reactants, two products. One more example I will write here. So four, E, C, L, two. Okay, there are two reactants, two products. So two reactants are sodium sulfate and barium chloride. So if you use this to what? Use this to barium sulfate. So two reactants, two products. Third one. Okay. Two reactants, two products. So here two reactants. Sodium sulfate is one product. Sorry, one reactant. And barium chloride is another reactant. Two reactants. Use such two products. Barium sulfate, sodium chloride, and then Cl. And fourth one. Two reactants. Two are more products. For example, for example, when when copper reacts with the sulfuric acid. Copper reacts with the sulfuric acid. It will use the isto. Copper reacts with the sulfuric acid. Use the isto. Copper sulfate. So for plus is two of is one two is one two. Now fourth one two reaction two reactants two two are more products. Here two reactants are there. One is a copper, another is a sulfuric acid. We use this to copper sulfate, water plus sulfur dioxide. So three products, two reactants, three products. So chemical reactions may mass. So four methods. So one is a one reactant, two or more products, and second one, one reactant, two or more products, two reactants, one product. Second one, two reactants, one product, and third one, two reactants and two products. Sodium sulfate plus barium chloride uses to barium sulfate and NaCl, and fourth one, two reactants, two or more products. For example. Four men. Four steps are there. Four steps are there. Then now I put the balance in the equation. Balance in the equation. So how to balance the equation? There are two methods are there. One is hit and trial method. Another one is the partial equation method. So there are two methods are there to balance the equation. One is the hit and trial method. Another is the partial equation method. Balance the equation. Hit and trial method. And second one, partial equation method. Partial equation method. To balance. So hit and trial method means we will put the numbers to the reactant side as well as to the product side. Then we will check that. Okay. So what is the balancing equation? First tell me what is the balancing equation? Balancing equation means how many reactants are present in the left hand side? Reactants are present in the left hand side. Same number of elements, number of atom should be present in the right hand side. It means in the product side. How many elements are? How many? Atoms are present in the left hand side. It means in the reactant side, that number of atoms only should present to the right hand side. It means in product side. That then only we call as a balancing equation. It is a balancing equation. Okay. How many reactants? How many number of atoms are present in the reactant side? Same number of atoms should be present in the right hand side. It means in the product side. Okay. Then only it is a complete reaction. If the equation is not balanced, it is incomplete. Okay, we call it as an incomplete reaction. Understood? So that's why. So why the equation should be balanced? What is the reason why should be balanced the equation? Because to comply the law of conservation of matter.
was plus is to walk. Is equal to plus is to walk. Copper reacts with sulfuric acid. Copper reacts with sulfuric acid. Gives us to copper sulfate, sulfur dioxide, and water. Now look at the here two reactants, three products. Two reactants, three products. Now first first thing first you have to list out the elements then. Elements. Elements. Then the reactant side. Reactant product. Okay. So the element or the, which are the elements are there? So first one, copper is there. Okay. Next, hydrogen is there. Next, sulfur is there. Next, oxygen is there. Next, oxygen is there. So in the reactant side, how many atoms of copper is there? Let's see there. So copper only one copper is there. Right? One here, one atom. One atom. And hydrogen. How many hydrogen atoms are there in the reactant side? Look at that. Two. Two atoms. And sulfur. Sulfur only one. Only reactant side you should see that. Okay. Only one. And oxygen four is there. Oxygen four atoms. Four atoms. One atom. So oxygen four atoms are there in the reactant side. Then move to the product side. Product side. Now look at that. Product. So first of all, copper only one is there. Only one is there. Copper. One atom. And the next hydrogen, hydrogen two, hydrogen two, two atoms. And next sulfur. You get the sulfur here, here one, here one, two, two sulfur atoms are there. Two atoms. And the next oxygen, oxygen. You get the four plus two, six, six, six plus one. Seven, seven atoms are there. Seven atoms are there. Now the reaction is not balanced. Reaction is not balanced. Now first thing, now we have to first balance the sulfur. First balance the sulfur because you get that in the reactant side only one sulfur is there, and in the product side two sulfur atoms are there. Two sulfur atoms are there. First one, balance the sulfur. To balance the sulfur, multiply by two because here here one plus one two is there, no? So two in which side only one is there in the reactant side only one atom is there. That's why we should multiply two to the reactant side, not to the product side. Be careful, remember, okay? Because sulfur atom less in the reactant side, more in the product side, okay? So here there is sulfur here. Yeah. So here is the sulfur. So put two here. Put two here. Now look at that. Sulfur is balanced. Here sulfur two is there. Here one plus one two is there. If you put two hydrogen, there, hydrogen number of atoms of hydrogen also get changed. Atom sulfur is balanced, but number of atoms of hydrogen is get changed as well as oxygen also will get changed. So because of that reason, now we have to. Again, you have to balance that. Now look at that. Hydrogen two two is a four. Two two is a four in the reactant side. Four in the reactant side. Four in the reactant side. In case of product side, two is there. Okay. And next up, two four is a eight. Eight oxygen atoms are there. Now, so four is get changed into the eight. Eight. Okay. So if you put to two, sulfur is get balanced. But what about the hydrogen and oxygen? It will get changed. Number of atoms will get changed. Okay. That comes. Okay. Next thing. Now we have to balance the hydrogen as well as the oxygen. Hydrogen as well as the oxygen. You get that? Yeah. Four atoms of hydrogen are there, but here only. Four, 
फोर प्लस टू सिक्स सिक्स प्लस टू एटर टू ऑक्सीजन आइटम्स टू ऑक्सीजन आइटम्स प्लस टू फोर फोर प्लस फोर एट नाउ बोर्ड हाइड्रोजन एस प्लस ऑक्सीजन इज बैलेंस इज बैलेंस अलविदा डेट कॉपर वन आइटम तो देना किस साइड प्रोडक्ट वन आइटम साइड हाइड्रोजन टू टू जा फोर फोर आइटम साइड इतने रिएक्ट Second thing, chemical uh, regarding about the chemical equation, chemical equations. Okay, in chemical equation, you can see one reactant, two or more products. Two reactants, one product. Two reactants, two products, and two reactants and two or three products. Two or three products, and how to balance the equation? Balance the equation by two methods. We can balance the equation. One is the Hickton trial method. Another one is the partial equation. Partial equation method. Okay, thank you.